The immediate future of the Indianapolis Colts is in new hands tonight, with owner Jim Mercy under medical treatment and temporarily out of the picture. His daughter, Carly, is in charge for now. Carly has been with the Colts for six years and moves into this top spot just before the NFL draft and the city's bid for another Super Bowl. Eyewitness News reporter Rich Van Wyk is on the story tonight and joins us now. Rich, what do we know about Carly Ursay? And Marie, she's one of three Ursay daughters working for the Indianapolis Colts. According to the website, she grew up around the team, joined the payroll in 08 as a vice president. She is now in charge, in the words of a Colts spokesman, acting in place of his father, her father, during his absence. With Colts owner Jim Ursay in legal trouble and in a substance abuse program, his daughter Carly is in charge. Two years ago, that's Carly Ursay Gordon riding upside down on the Super Bowl zip line with sister Kayla. We thought it was awesome. Last week, she accepted the appreciation of Indiana's National Guard for the Colts' efforts to provide free tickets to soldiers. Now, the Colts' vice chair owner is acting in place of her CEO owner dad. I think that Carly will essentially be a, a rubber stamp. For a caretaker, says sports columnist Bob Kravitz, as the Colts coaches and general manager prepare for May's NFL draft. I think they have a game plan going in, and I don't see much in the way of real significant change with Carly in charge right now. Right now, the city is also finalizing its bid to host a second Super Bowl. The proposal goes to the NFL at the end of April. The all-important presentation to team owners is set for late May, for now, Jim Ursay is out of the picture. It clearly would be best to have him there. Is it critical to have him there? I don't really think it's critical. The Butler marketing professor is confident Indianapolis's 2012 Super Bowl performance will speak for itself. We've got some pretty good stock. We've got some pretty good capital that has been invested with the NFL. The Colts website says Carly started attending NFL owners meetings 10 years ago. Attending this weekend's meeting is likely to be an entirely different experience. Very different without her father at her side. There's simply no way of knowing how long Jim Ursay will be sidelined with his legal problems and recovery. There's also, John, the possibility of sanctions imposed by the NFL. You know, Rich, I have a question about the last time we got the Super Bowl here. How involved was, was Jim Ursay in that process lobbying the other owners to vote Indianapolis as the site? Well, sources I know that have been associated with putting the bid together describe him as very supportive, very encouraging, very helpful. He did not speak during the presentation to the team owners. They only got two speakers. He was in the room present, but didn't have anything to say. How much that went on privately, we don't know, but uh, sources make it very clear that that bid was put together by the community, paid for by the community, two things that impressed the NFL owners very much. All right, thank you. Rich Van Wyk reporting tonight from Lucas Oil Stadium.